Hi guys, we're gonna to start today with Word Talk. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to use our standard cards to build some of our words of the day. And then we're gonna use some sentences. So let's go ahead and build some words. Whoops, back. Okay, so watch as I build this word. Try to say the sounds as I build it. Look at that. I've got a bonus lot of our letter. I am going to attempt to draw a star every time I do. Ooh, not bad. That's the best star I've done. Okay, let's tap out this word and figure out what our word of the day was. M, I, S, miss. Remember, even though there's two S's, we only tap one finger one time. Let's do it one more time. Miss. M, I, S, miss. Awesome. Let's go to the next word. While I'm doing this, who can raise their hand and tell their teacher what Q-U is called? I noticed that card has two letters on that. What is that called? I hope that someone said Q-U is a buddy letter. I have another letter here with two letters on it. What's that called? What's that CK called? Somebody raise their hand and tell me before we read this word. That's right. CK is called a digraph. All of these right here are digraphs. Two letters, one sound, and they only get one tap. So let's go ahead and tap out this word and figure out what it is. The word is qu Ick. Quick. Good job. Is there anybody who can tell me how I knew to use CK after this short vowel? What's the rule there? What's the rule? That's right. Anytime you hear k after a short vowel, you use the CK spelling. Awesome. Okay, watch as I do this word. Oh, and look at that. I've got bonus letters again. I'm going to put my star and then we'll tap it out. I'm getting pretty good at this. Okay, <laughs> let's tap it out. I ooh, fill. Awesome. Next word is and watch what I'm going to do. That's right. This word has two digraphs. So I had to underline the digraphs. That's how we mark them. So let's tap them out. Ick, thick. Awesome, we have one last word. Try to sound it out as I'm building it. And this time there's nothing to mark. No bonus letters, no digraphs. There's a buddy lever, letter, but we're not gonna do anything to that. Let's go ahead and tap it out. Qua, it, quit. It is time for me to quit making new words. So what we're gonna do is we are going to look here at our words of the day. Okay, here are the words we just read. Let's read them together. I'll read them, then you repeat me. Ready? 
fill, there's my bonus letter, thick, two digraphs, quick, one, quit, and miss. I'm going to ask some questions, and after each question, your teacher's going to pause, and someone's going to raise their hand and answer my question. Who can tell me what words um, have bonus letters? Raise your hand if you can say what words have bonus letters. Your teacher's going to pause and figure out or ask someone which words have bonus letters. That's right, it's the word fill and the word miss. They double, we doubled the L and the S after the short vowel and we showed there were bonus letters by using a star. Who can tell me what word or words have digraphs? What word or words have digraphs? Raise your hand, your, your teacher can pause this and call on someone to answer that. That's right, the two digraph words are quick and thick. And those rhyme, right? Quick, thick, good. Um, what word means to stop doing something? If you stop doing something, which one of these words means to stop doing something? Raise your hand and your teacher can call on someone. That's right, the word quit. Um, let's see, what word means the, is an antonym, an antonym, remember, is an opposite, the antonym for slow. Which one of those words is an antonym or the opposite of slow? That's right, it's the word quick. Which word um, means the same as, no. actually I'm going to do an opposite. Sorry, I blanked on what I was saying. Which one is an antonym for the word empty? Remember, antonym means opposite. So what's the opposite of empty? If I'm not emptying something, what am I doing? I'm gonna fill it, right? So my cup, when it's empty, I'm going to fill it with some more water. Delish. Okay, great job. One last thing before we go. Who can tell me the word or words with buddy letters? That's right, quick and quit. Both have buddy letters, and those buddy letters are Q, U. Awesome job. Now we are going to do some trick word reading and spelling. So I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to do sentence frames because that's how we always start reading our trick words. And I'm going to grab my sentence frames. These are short sentences today. Okay, this word right here is going to be my trick word. So pay attention and see what it is, okay? Because remember, when I start typing, you can't see that. So remember, the very first word is our trick word, okay? So here I go. I whoops, had fun. I had fun. Period, because that's a statement. I'm telling you I had fun. Whoops. We are going to read this sentence one time together. I'm going to read it. You're going to repeat me. I had fun. Who can raise their hand and tell your class what our trick word is? What's our trick word? That's right, our trick word is I. And guys, 
each and every one of you is so important, so important. You are always capitalized. I is capitalized just like the first letter of your name. Now watch this. This is never how we write the word I. That's the letter or the sound I. It is never the word I. The word I is always capitalized. Always, 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 always. Okay? Now, watch as I change my first word. As I change my first word, my first word is still going to be my trick word. So this is my trick word. I'm still scooped with one scoop. And my sentence is this, they had fun. Everybody say that with me, ready? They had fun. Raise your hand and tell your class what the trick word is. That's right, it's the word they. They is referring to more than one person. They. Awesome job, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to work on spelling these words, okay? We're gonna work on spelling them. So here's our first word. Our first word is the word I. We are going to, remember, we cannot tap these words. We are going to say it. We're gonna skywrite it with our eyes open, with our iris closed, and then on our table. Ready? So we're gonna say it and skywrite it. Ready? I. So make the letter and then say I. Make sure you made a capital. Ready? One more time with your eyes open. I. This time, do it with your eyes closed. No cheating. Say I then draw it and say it again, I. Now two fingers on your table and say I. Now let's write it and then say I. Give me a thumbs up if you remember to capital I every time. Nice, good job. Now we're gonna look at our next word. Our next word is the word they. Let's Say it and spell it. They, T-H-E-Y, they. Now let's skywrite it with our eyes open. They, T-H-E-Y, they. Now do it with your eyes closed. They, T-H-E-Y, they. Now take your two fingers and on the desk in front of you or the surface in front of you, write they. T-H-E-Y, they. Awesome job. At some point, your teacher will let you know when you need to put these into your notebooks. Now what we're going to do is we are going to review all of our other words, the ones we have already learned, okay? So we are going to review our trick words. Remember when we're reviewing our trick words, we are reading them fast, 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 okay? So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna give you three seconds before I go to the next one. You guys should be reading them out loud. Ready?
Whoops. Okay. Did you think you did a good job? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumb sideways if you think you have some to learn. If you're not getting very good at it, give me a thumbs down. Let's start here and we're going to read them together. Okay. That way you can check to see if you were right. The, a, and, is, his, of, as, has, to, into, he, she, be, me, for, or, you, and your. Great job, guys.